Morning. Big day for the boys. Here they are. Having a little pre-match rest. Oh, pre-match cough. All right, boys. Not that one. That one's been demoted this year. Sorry. He identifies as Suffolk. So today is the start of our farming calendar. Boy sheep going with the girl sheep to make the baby sheep, which starts the whole thing again. I love this day. A lot of hard work's gone into finding the right rams and the right sheep, and we've got everything straightened out and done, and now it's finally time. We've got rams going in about five different places. They're all different, going to do different jobs, just to overcomplicate things. We pop a bit of rattle paint on. We don't really change it every couple of weeks. I always say I'm guinea, but never do. Obviously, I forgot to buy rattle, so I had to go to the shop this morning. The shop didn't open till 8.30, so I done the proper farmer thing and just paced up and down for 20 minutes. I went in the shop and moaned about the price of the rattle paint. What? And now we're here with the rattle paint. I also bought a crayon because I have a couple of harnesses. I don't have enough to cover all our tups. They're about £25 a harness and I'm still far too tight to buy them. I don't know if this crayon fits the harness I've got. The first round I'm putting out, which is my best one, is going out to 60 use. He's going out on his own now. That's not a very wise idea in case he's firing blank. So I just want to make sure the use are marked and then we're going to put a ram in as a sweeper. And I just want to double check that everything's kosher. Benji, call cool, my son. <laughs> Mate, most stupid sheep breed in the world. Oh yeah, he decided he wanted to go a little bit lame. Got a bit of schooled in his cleats. Are they cleats? I think they're cleats, which is a nice word to say. Cleats. Still got five little Bore Rams, if anyone's interested. Lol. <laughs> bit of, yeah, look. That's exactly what we want to happen, to be fair. That wouldn't be a bad thing, though, I don't think. That wouldn't be a bad thing if they all left. That's exactly what we want. Let them all go. Look at that, eh? How good are we? How good are we? Look at that. I actually fully impressed myself then. Let's have a look at you then, boys. Nice. I think we're going to sell this tub. Yeah. Benji's got five girlfriends. That's Machetta. It's a Texel Suffolk, who's not joining the party. My new Texel. Texel, I really like that one. This is my absolute favourite. You survived this far, big boy. What a ledge. You've got an ass like J-Lo. It's for my little ewe lambs. This is a Millennium Blue for my little... I'm going to put my little ewe lambs. They're actually there. These are my other Millennium Blues, which are just absolutely twice the size. It's what we topped the market with. They're lambs the other day. This is a hellish texel as well. This guy is a blue bell, blue face Lester Bell Tex. He's gonna go on our Cheviots in a minute. And then that's another texel who's got some length. So downwind, I can confirm they absolutely stink. Gonna stand them in this nice muddy panel guy. Nope. Nope. That is a classic grey-faced Dartmoor move. You're up first, kiddo. Not unhappy with any of them. Top boys. I think this was a good move on the ewe lambs as well. I'm going to go get some overalls on now, so I don't get dippy legs. I try not to handle them too much when they've been dipped, because it's not very nice stuff. You don't want to do that, so... Get some gloves on and some overalls, because... Uh, still got the pins out, ladders. Bit of luxury for the boys. Go on, lads. <sighs> Lovely job. Now I've got to try and back that little trailer up that track. If you know, you know. These little two-wheel trailers. I'm not ashamed to say that I cannot reverse. Not bad. Bit of good news, bit of bad news. Left my overalls in the truck overnight and it hammered it down. So that's no good. But some good news. Crayon fits the ram harness, but we've just got to try and get it on him now without getting covered. Come in, the old mucker. That's it. Yes. Oh. Oh dear. That's not how that works. It doesn't go around the neck, does it? It goes around the shoulders. But... Didn't it? Yeah, didn't it go like. I actually ain't got a clue what, what we're supposed to do here. 
I actually don't know how to work this contraption. I know, mate. I know I'm embarrassed as well. Is that you laughing at me? Do you know what? I actually can't be bothered with this. When I was in the shop, they gave me a broken pot of rattle, which is very kind, but I wouldn't usually choose red because it can look a bit like a massacre. But I'm going to put red on him and use it there because I won't get loads of phone calls saying like your, your sheep are bleeding to death there because the people there are sensible. So I think I'm going to put red on him and then we know what use he's been on. When we mix the use up later, it'll help us. It's meant to be way thicker than that. Well, who knew that We've NASA used the invented pot. rattle harnesses, do you know what I mean? The camera angle of my ass. Tap aboard. High hopes for you, my friend. To the first destination. There you go. There you go. Mate, mate, mate. They're, they're, they're that way. Not the best start. I've got really high hopes for this ram because we've put together 60 nice mules for him and we're hoping to have some nice replacements and so far he's going the wrong way. I mean he's literally running the wrong way. That could be the first time I've ever seen him run and it's away from the sheep. Did I ever tell you how much he cost? It was a lot of money. My goodness they're keen. Come on, girls. He runs away now, I want my money back. No time to hang around. Let's get on to the next lot. Next up we want three Texels. I'm not too worried which ones. We're going to run a mob of about 200 ewes together. However, 30-ish of them are still up here. So instead of sending four, I'm going to send three and leave one back here. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. God, I always sound like I'm so overcomplicated. I just want three tubs, so with three Texels. Any three will do. Funny boys, let's go. Not you, not you, not you. Oh, go on, that's one, two. All the things I don't want are going in there. Uh, not sure we're going to use rattle paint, because if we do, they're going to paint each other green on the way, because there's three of them in there. There they go. Lighters. I really wanted to pull these Texel mules out, like that one there, that one there. That's a good one uh, to go with our Millennium Blue, but just not had time. I haven't had time for all the faffing, so they're going to be uh, three quarter texels and fun to lap. And my gate's just falling off again. Let's go, boys. Boys, you could look a bit cleaner. Are you scared or what? Let's go. Go on, son. Okay. So we're also planning to move these ewes and I wanted to put the rams in once they're moved, but I can't get haulage for about a week, so they're just gonna have to tap start tapping and then move, which is probably a problem, but is it a problem? Who knows? Hopefully not. That she's keen, that takes all. She's dead keen, that one. Well, wow. there you go. Just a quick shout out to a couple of legends. I just want to say thank you because the other week I done a video where our batteries and water tanks and stuff had been stolen by some absolute low lives and a couple of people donated on my little thanks button and uh, I bought a new battery, which is really heavy. When we get stuff stolen, you just think people are absolute scum. And then uh, a couple of really nice people, you know, 
chipped in and helped us out and uh, I was really really grateful so I was just thank you so much like there you go that's what it went towards new battery your legends I would shout you out but you might be shy so but yeah just want to say really really appreciate it I didn't blow it all on beer you got one of them bad boys so cheers right so group two is done let's get on next up I want my two millennium blues Un dun and then Benji Benji the boy We have arrived, just gonna try and uh, put a bit of that on uh, on a bit of them somehow. All right, don't kill me, boys. There's good lads. Hold well on, well thank you. You all right? It's nice. It's just like a spa. I'll be calm, you be calm, we'll both be calm. No one's gonna get hurt. You don't like it at all, do you? Oh no. Oh no. There's a good boy. Run off your head, boys. Ooh. Not you, Benji. Definitely not you. We don't need none of that breeding. Don't be stupid. I like this bunch we use a lot. So if you can see that, that's um, Millennium Blue Texel Mule that I bred there that he's just got into straight away. See the one with the green bum? Good sheep that. Good, they look well these ewes. Right, big girl, we've got a few more to do yet. Oh, there you go, that's that. Best point in the sheep breed ever. Right, whistling them down slowly. Next up is something called a bluebell. I've got two in it, and there's one there and one there. That is a Beltex cross blue face Lester, and he is going to go onto our Chiviots. You go forward. Go on. Good, dude. Good lad. Right, chuck a bit of paint on him, get him in the trailer. Mm-hmm. I do like them Cheviots. I think there's about 20 out here somewhere. They're not all there, but they're somewhere. Hopefully. I'm sure they're somewhere. Just standing in the pen all day, so he's hungry, look. <laughs> Getting in the calories, are you, big boy? She must go on, old boy. Right, we're getting there for my next move though. This tuck wants to go with some ewes that are on the farm, but they're mixed up my ewe lambs and I do not want a Texel on my ewe lambs. The other three aren't going to be used today. Those two aren't going to be used at all and the shedding rab's not going to go in for a few days. So what I want to do, if I can, is get these two in the race and let the others back out there. That might have just been perfect. Go in there like that. Lovely. No, I don't want you in there. I don't want you in there. I don't want you in there, too. I want you in there, though. Okay, don't you turn around. That's it, just like that. You go up there. You are caught. Lovely. Run left, run left, run left. Lovely. It's a Dartmoor thing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. The round did it earlier. Go on. Right, so what we're going to do, just run the ewes, because you see we've got a mixture of ewes and lambs. We're going to run the ewes through, going to catch the ewes in there, run the lambs straight on, once I've shut that gate, let the ewes back out with that Texel ram there, and then just run the ewe lambs back through the race again, and then just shed off any of the bigger ones that we'd like to tap. Sounds like it's a lot to do, but it's not. It would be a piece of cake. Another really good gate latch there. And we'll just tap the ewe lambs in there, I expect. You go. That's a lamb, believe it or not. Let's go, 
Done. All the use there. Nice bunch of to be fair. You go to, no, you can see it. It's such a hooligan. I don't know why it does that. You wait there a sec. Just gonna put a bit of paint on him. So, um, that gate wasn't tied. And all the ewes just got back with the lamb. So now I've just gotta do all that again. Fantastic. That is the Texel Ram with about 30 ewes. Just gonna put him out there with his girlfriends. Go on, my son. Thirty-eight. Right, it's thirty-eight there, and then there's about eight out there, so that's plenty. So now I'm just gonna run the ewe lambs round, pull off a few that we're gonna run with the tarp, and the tarp has doubled himself right up. He's decided to. Uh, put a bit of lipstick on. After all it is 2023, so if he wants to wear lipstick, all power to you son. I like these lambs a lot, really happy with them. Little black ewe that I like as well. Like that little thing as well, believe it or not. Come on in, let's go. So right here we have a prime example of a ewe lamb I want to tap. Big old textile thing. Come up the race the wrong way, which is really helpful. Big old ewe lamb like that. It's as big as the top. I don't think that'll have a problem at all. You, you can, you can, not you. No, yeah, you can, you can, you can. Not you, not you, not you. Definitely you, definitely you, not you. Definitely you, not you. You catch my drift. Right, I was a little bit keen there. We've got too many. I mean, they're all tappable lambs. I don't want that many. So we're gonna just go through them one more time. About 30. Bang on 30. How did you do that? I counted them. Did you? It's only 15 of them, realistically, you're probably gonna get now. Yeah, that's very true. Realistically. Yeah, that's very true. Them, what if they all get in land though? Like Alright, well should I pull, pull six them. out? Six out, so there's 24 and then 12 probably be in land. Yeah. Alright, fine. Is it gone? I got nine. We're gonna run them dry. You girls have got a boyfriend in coming and he wears lipstick. So make of that what you will. I've got to put some rattle on him somehow and he's a lunatic. Steady, steady. There you go. Have a look. Look at this. Look. Look, yeah. In here. Look in here. Don't jump that. Don't jump that. Don't jump that. Have a look here. Look. Look. Gateway. No. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that, no, no, don't you do that, you just, no, mate, please make the right decision here, life is choices, now make one, well done, lovely, uh, of course you did, of course you did mate, I'll let a couple of you lambs in with him, there you go, I don't know how this is going to go, it's not going to be very well, A bit though, didn't I? That's just gonna have to do because 
He's a psycho. I'd say it's a short term thing that they'll be in there, but probably be like three weeks because I am flat out. Got loads of cover crops to fence and lots going on. Someone said to me, describe a sheep. Yeah. That right there is a sheep. Why? Oh, no. Yeah. That's probably 90% of our sheep tucked now. So we will be lambing on about the 20th of March, give or take. So thank you very much for watching. Thanks for watching my YouTube. Till next time.